Welcome to my project Pasar Patkum. Now we discuss about classification of EEG signal using wavelet packet GA comma RBF. It is the modified title of classification of mental task EEG signals using wavelet packet entropy and SBM. To enhance the EEG classification performance, we should reduce the computational complexity which mainly occurs during the feature selection. Finding the right features combination is indeed a hard task. The computational requirements of exhaustive search methods increase exponentially with the number of features in the original set. Thus, we introduce the limiting algorithm for selection of feature. EEG is the recording of electrical activity along the slab. EEG measures voltage resulting from inonic current flows within the neurons of the brain. In clinical context, EEG refers to the recording of the brain's spontaneous electrical activity over a short period of time. We use wavelet packet transformer to extract the feature of EEG signal and then use GE algorithm for select the best feature of EEG signal and then use RBF classifier to classify the data. For it is the EEG signal is normal or abnormal. This is the flow diagram for our proposal system. In our proposal system, first we load the EEG signal. The test EEG signal is containing a data of brains. And then the EEG signal could the feature extraction process. The feature extraction process we use wavelet packet transformer. In this algorithm is the best basis selection algorithm. Decided a decomposition of structure among the library of possible bases by measuring a data dependent cost function. The number of non zero coefficients after thresholding is used as the cost function. Then we select the we extract the feature, then we go to the feature selection process. In the feature selection process, we use genetic algorithm. In the genetic algorithm contains several steps. The step one Start with the randomly generated population of chromosomes. Then step two, create the population size. The limits of the roots or bounds are specified. Then step three, the roots which are selected are the initial values of the root circuit. Then step four, a selection method called normalized geometric selection is applied so that any random value can be selected. Selection is based on fitness value of the root. Then step five. Reproduce the selected roots so as to get the optimized solution. In step 6, crossover called arithmetic crossover and uniform mutation are performed so as to alert the roots to get a optimized root. Then step 7, calculate the fitness of each root in the population. Then step 8, repeat the following step until n of spring have been created. In step 9, Using fitness function finds the value of the error in the generation. Then step 10, the roots gave the highest fitness value were chosen. Then step 11, does the roots obtain the final values of future extraction. Then step 12, if the obtained value were not according to the required one, then go to the step 2. Now we select the feature by using the algorithm. Then same step is contained in train data. The train data is contained in a set of EEG signals. The EEG signals is getting a normal and abnormal signal. Then the train data feature was extracted by the wavelet packet transformer and also that feature was selected by a genetic algorithm and it's converted to a matrix and it is stored in the RBF classifier to classify the test EEG signal. Then we go to RPS classifier. The RPS classifier already the train data will be stored at the same time the future selection our test will be come. In RPS classifier is random radial basic function appear. We need to specify the get unit get an unit activation function, the number of loop functions you need, the creation for modeling a given task and a training algorithm for finding the parameters of the network. 
the hidden layer is used to train the rbf classifier by using the train data and then the train data with compared to the test eg signal and and give the result the test eg signal are normal or approximate it is the prediction result now i going to demo our project first open the matlab and then go to the main.m file and right click the main.m file and run the file then the process window will be open first we load the signal from data set and we, it is the signal and then with the wavelet packet transformer we extract the feature from the signal and it is the feature of the test signal and then we train the classifier and now we go to select the feature of test signal it is the genetic algorithm graph of the fitness function and generation it contains a city to generation and the fitness function is 2.04 and it is the performance graph how to it is the genetic algorithm select the feature is accuracy it is the accuracy graph of genetic algorithm then we classify the test signal and that signal will be the normal signal then it is the confusion metric of the classifier now the confusion metric of the classifier is 100% is accuracy it is so the accuracy of the classifier it is the 100% accuracy to classify the signals and then it is the performance graph of the test the test signal how to compare with the train signal it is the performance graph of the class classifier classification and then now select the another signal from data set and then the same process will done again select the extract the feature by using the wavelet factor and then it is the feature of the given load signal and then train the feature and now select the feature by using g algorithm and this is the performance graph g algorithm and then now go to the classification process now that the signal is the abnormal signal and now the classifier 100% accurate give the answer and then it is the performance graph of the classifier rbf classifier then we go to close the button to exit the process thanks for watching video